all right guys and girls today i'm going to be talking about probably one of the most interesting books i've ever read and i'm sure you guys will love this book it's called how to be a billionaire and it details very very interesting and similar and dissimilar characteristics perspectives uh habits behaviors of all these billionaires from a billionaire who uh, got rich from uh, starting a garbage disposal company and then buying mom and pop mom and pop garbage disposal companies and growing that business it's so ridiculous all the ways you can become a billionaire in fact there's this uh, YouTube video uh, first off do you guys realize that there's over a thousand billionaires in the world right now um, and so uh, you know there's this YouTube video uh, you can google it and it's like I think it's by Forbes it was it's like uh, all the ways you can become billionaires well not all the ways some of the ways and it's like a little two-minute video and it goes through like 12 different ways uh, billionaires have uh, gotten their money and it's the most random stuff um, like uh, panty hoses, uh, selling guitars, and then obviously the the famous ones: Mark Zuckerberg, Facebook, Bill Gates, Microsoft, etc. But it's so ridiculous. There's a billionaire who got famous from uh, selling Greek yogurt, and there's a obviously Oprah and so forth. And so here's what I've learned: it is not easy at all. Okay, it seems so easy and basic when I just say you sell yogurt or you sell guitars. No, there's so much more complicated than that. And I don't from re, after reading this book, I don't think it's freaking worth it. It's not worth it to make that much money because half the time, you know, it's going to cost you your family life. It's going to cost you any free time you have. It means you're going to be working 7 days a week. 10 to 15 hours per day and you have to really love what you're doing and you're probably going to sacrifice on your your family or something else it's going to be very hard you sometimes need a personality that requires um a, a personality that sometimes in terms of business world means you're not going to make that many friends in order to get the best returns for your business that sort of stuff not always you know and another thing I learned is although there's a lot of similarities and behaviors and characters and personality traits and skills you need f from uh, very surprising stuff like uh, negotiating skills or uh, mathematical skills or just hobbies that are very similar between billionaires like um, they all like some sort of uh, they all they've all not all of them but a lot of them uh, like to read a lot uh, a lot of them, and again, I learned this not just from this book, but from uh, a, a lot of material I consumed on videos, online, documentaries, on uh, billionaires like Elon Musk. A lot of them are very high IQ, not always though, and they can all, uh, okay, not all of them, a lot of them consume a lot of books easily. They They just devour books like it's nothing. And they love it. They're very interested in it. Elon Musk, and I didn't learn this from this book. I learned it from a documentary. But 